What's up, Stripe Nation? Blake Alvarez here with B&B Lawn Care. I'm here with my good buddy, Naylor. What's up, man? Guys, you can check him out at LCR on YouTube, right? Yeah. Yep. And LCR Media on Instagram? Yep, and or Lawn Care Rookie. I've got two different things going on Instagram. How long have you had this ramp rack for? So I've had this for a full season. I got it the, like the beginning of the mowing season, the year that we're in now, and it's October, so we're getting towards the end of the season. So a whole season of mowing. So Naylor just put the cart mate in transport mode. Now he's gonna show us the mower going up. Hey guys, I wanted to pop on here and let you know that my course that I've been working on for two months now has just been released at thestripenation.com. Check the link in the description if you guys wanna learn everything from setting up an LLC, hiring an accountant, hiring your first employees, all the way to quoting six of the most common lawn care services literally on a property walk. So check it out, spill my brain out on it, and I really think you guys are gonna enjoy it and learn a lot from it, so check it out. We've been talking for like literally 45 minutes here uh, because as you guys saw, I had a ramp rack probably, I think I got it like two and a half years ago. We ran it for probably four or five months and I had uh, I had some issues with mine. I had literally for version one. You did. You so this is like, version one. this is, this is version revamped. Three or four or something, yeah. Right, and I think they took some of the things that I had absolutely. problems with and fixed it. So absolutely. he absolutely loves it, right? Yeah, I, I, this is like, I would want to get multiples of these if I had multiple crews and put them on trucks for mowing. Cause it's just such a great, it's just a great one and done thing. You know, one stop shop, you just pull up, mow and go. It's super efficient. And the reason I wanted to make this video was A, cause I'm like falling in love with it again as we've been talking here because the idea of it is still amazing no trailer the trailer tires I, it, look at it's literally parked in a parking spot right now like you just don't get that with trailers so i think the idea is incredible and since they fixed a lot of these things i want to check it out again because this is the revamped version mine i, I there was just certain things that um the main thing is we just needed airbags which we just installed into the work truck uh, and that wasn't even the ramp rack's fault, man. Like, <laughs> uh, it was my fault and the truck's fault and the no airbags. So let's go over the ramp rack because I want to give it uh, the spotlight that it deserves because they really worked hard on it. And they were, they're, I, I, don't, I think they're doing good now. And they started up as a small, you know, young company. And I love helping out young companies. So literally, they don't even know that we're making this video. I just, I've been talking to Naylor about it and... I want to give people another option to look at. Um, so here's the ramp rack. All right, Naylor, I'm gonna let you take it away and kind of give us some highlights about it. Well, I mean, from, from version one, like what you were talking about, the biggest change here, or one of the biggest changes that affected you was this is all one piece here that's curved now. Instead of before, it was two mm. separate pieces that kind of angled like this, yep. right? And your mower deck got hung up on that angle. Right. So now it's just like one curved piece. So now you'll never have that problem with getting hung up on, you know, going up and down with the mowers. It doesn't right. matter what mower you have. I guess when version one, the mowers he had were fine, but you, yes. know, you had different mowers. So, yep. and, and it just was different and it got hung up on it. Right. And even if you forget to like raise the deck, you still won't have a problem on this because like, unless it's like all the way down, you know, you're not gonna scrape this. So that that's a huge improvement right there. The I'm, other- th I'm gonna pause you real quick. Yeah because at the and i thought this was like so this was actually really cool to me at last year's gie he had the right standards previously and he had skag v rides last year because that was the mower that was getting hung up so he he made sure that the v rides work now right right all right sorry to, sorry no, to that's intervene. good that's that's he he's really thinking of stuff you know the uh, why it created this he really keeps thinking about all the different feedback that he's given and, right. and just always making adjustments but you know, the other big thing is this is this is detachable now this is a detachable back ramp part i believe your version was all one piece correct yes 
Yeah, so now you can detach it right here. No, I, you could, but you couldn't easily detach it. Gotcha. Like it was like a it was bolt. All, yeah, it, yeah right. it was like bolts. So yeah, so now it's just these pins. You pull out these pins down the bottom. There's a jack on the bottom. Oh, so, wow. Yeah, you lower the jack and you unpin that and you just pull away and it just... just so you don't, have a, you don't have to have a bunch of guys like no, holding it up? No, nothing. Oh, that's actually awesome, dude. Wow. That's so smart. How do you jack it up? Yeah, so you so so you, you lower the you lower the ramp down and these turnbuckles here, you unhook this and it swings down and hooks onto this which is down here which anchors this as a, a like a tripod leg. Oh. And then you lower that jack and then you take the pins, all these pins out and you pull away and it just sits there like it's a plow. How do you lower the jack on this side? Yeah, yeah, there's a handle right there. Oh my gosh, dude, that's very innovative. Yeah, man. Right? A lot of Holy crap, that's really cool. Yeah. So and the like jack is already on it, installed in there. And just how clean, like all of these side lights, the, the, the little tail details, lights. the license plate light. Yes. Like all these little details. Pull and this now, bad boy down. Cause this was another complaint that actually my employee at the time was having was the pins, just the mechanism to uh, to, uh, keep the gate up and to get the gate down they just weren't they weren't liking that so I want to see the new design here Naylor you ready yep I'm ready <laughs> oh dude because you saw mine right yeah yeah like you that is a lot of things man. that is no joke 30 times better than than the beginning so I love I love people and companies that really listen to people. And that's why I, I just wanna give them the shot that they deserve here because you're loving it. Yeah. I love the idea. And they took these improvements and ran with it and actually implemented it. Like that, it was almost two people, it was almost two people the first time that had to do it. Yeah. And that's just simple, it takes literally three seconds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, usually before I can even get back here, my guys already have one of the guys already lowered the gate and they're grabbing something if they need to grab the push mower or whatever before I even get back here. So I mean, anyone and everyone can do it. I mean, it's it's even easier than it's even easier than an open trailer, right? Yes. I don't even see an open trailer that thought of something like no, that. No, they don't. It's all you know, you got to pull the pins out. That's what it was on your pins. You pull yeah. those pins and they always get jammed up and warp and And that's how my trailer is. That. Still, my, exactly. my open trailer. Yeah, but this is just so innovative. And you have this on a 3500 Ram, correct? Right, an eight foot long bed. But is it a diesel, I, by the way? People no, love to know that, right? No, it's gas. It's okay. the uh, it's the 6.4 Hemi. Okay. But um, but did yours have the, the telescoping bed rails so you could shrink it, shrink it for a smaller bed? Or? No, no. So I, this, this I don't is, think so, yeah, Naylor. So this is expandable. I mean, right now it's fully extended for the eight foot bed. But if you have a smaller bed, like a six and a half foot or whatever, you can just loosen these up and shrink the shrink the poles down to fit any Golly, bed. So they, this is 100% universal. Because I think, I'm almost positive that mine, like they would have to be custom made for a truck. So if you got a new truck, Exactly. So, so this now, can go on any truck. If this truck breaks down, or or like me, if I get another truck to be dedicated mowing, so I can use this truck for other stuff, uh, like put a dump bed on it, whatever, I could just take this off and put it on the new truck. It's and super versatile. Do you know? Do they recommend you have a, at least an F two fifty? Yeah. And I would recommend airbags. By the way, I anytime you put, you're putting weight in your truck bed. Like anything substantial, like a lawnmower or whatever. Right. They, they get airbags. Yeah. I mean, they, they recommend anything that they recommend whatever you're putting in it, right? Whatever you're putting in is what you need the, the proper truck for. If you're putting big commercial mowers, like stand on mowers and stuff, then you're going to need a heavy duty truck, either right. a 2500 or, or a 3500, you know, a, a three quarter ton or a full ton, whatever model that happens to be for your favorite brand of truck. But that that's going to be able to handle the payload and the wear and tear. And you can always beef up the suspension like you say with with uh, airbags or extra leaf springs or wh whatever it is you know whatever option you go for the other thing that's different is this I remember you had that basket that funky yeah. basket yeah now, this is a more practical shelf and it just that is removable good. you can take the shelf off there's all these little bolts here that you unscrew all the way around so yeah. if you have something high up in here like a dingo or something you can take mm. the shelf off to pull it all the way up front and it so. just looks good like this design 
it, it just looks professional. Yeah. And, um, and tell me if I'm wrong here, but I'm almost positive that you can now pick your color like on his website. Correct. Right? Yeah. So if you order on the ramprack.com, you have to pay extra yeah. for them to powder coat it, whatever color you want. Which is understandable. It, it comes standard black powder coated. But if you want like pink or green or purple or blue or whatever branded color you want, orange, you know, you can pay yellow, you can pay for it to be powder coated. I got this one off of, um, <clears throat> off of Green Touch's website because they're one of the first like uh, manufacturer, well, first um, vendors dealers that they were working with and theirs came automatically green to match the green racks right so that was like their whole theme so i'm like oh i don't want we'll to pay extra you know i could just if you get it on their website it came already standard green let's go over some of the racks that you have here and and also i want you to tell me if you would do anything different if there are any other racks that you would put on here um maybe just to give people some other options yeah um no, I mean, you know, I, the biggest thing is finding the right placement for all the, all the, all the racks, right? Like just trying to figure out what fits where and all that. So yeah. that, that was really the biggest trial and error situation there was, was trying to do that. But, um, so there's a lot of extra holes and things here that I had to kind of, you know, fix up and move things around. But this is basic. I set this up for exactly what we need. You know, for our mowing setup, we've got one backpack blower and one hand blower. Because a lot of properties, we're just blowing off grass, you know, real quick and, and going. And we just have, they're all locked. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's good. Yeah. yeah, they're all locked so nobody can do anything yeah. shady. But, you know, so we just have the hand blower. The guys are quick to grab the hand blower just to blow off a driveway and a sidewalk real quick. But when we get to multiple properties, which we have consistently on every day, we have a, a, some chunks here and there. Where Hashtag route five. density. Exactly. <laughs> Someone will grab the backpack blower so they can go up and down, so they can just walk from house to house to house. Another guy or myself will grab the hand blower and go do all the walkways, the patios in the backyard, we'll meet up back up at the truck. So we never need any more until now going into leaf season. We would never need more than just these two blowers. Do they normally walk up the ramp to put it up there or is it is, is it a pain to get the backpack blower um, that high? Well, depending on how tall you are, you know, the backpack blower and you know, the, the bigger your truck, the higher up you go. So you have that challenge. But I mean, I can get this on and off perfectly fine. The guys can too, but some of them, when they see the mower's not in there, they like to put it away from inside the truck. Right. So they don't and, have to hoist it up like this. And so. what mowers are you running in? in because you said you could fit a 48 up front because it right. can fit through the wheel wells Correct. and a 52 in the back. Right. And where does the 52 end? Like Yeah, the 52 wheels end right here. They, they don't want you to go past this because that's when you start going back here. Yeah. It's, one, it's slanting backwards and it's just not all, it's not as sturdy here. So they yeah. want the tires to just kind of be right here. Okay. So, yeah. Which, but, which is fine. That's that's where your tailgate would come down. So you get an extra two, three feet of space. So your right. eight foot bed turns into a 10 foot bed. Right. And so, so basically you can fit any variation of mower. You can put, right. you know, two push mowers up there and a 52 or right. a 48. Exactly. But basically the front mower just has to fit through the wheel wells and that's the only limitation. Exactly. Exactly. So you've ran, uh, you could run uh, 36, 52. I mean, come on, yeah, you, you know, any come configuration. on. configuration. So yeah. yeah, our configuration is the 48 and a couple of push mowers or the 52 when the 48's in the shop and a couple push mowers. Right. So. And then a top shelf we just use for like random stuff. Sometimes we can put a push mower up there, which is really, they, yeah, yeah. That's what they kind of advertise it for. Oh, wow. It's kind of a pain to lift it up in and out with one person, but we have when we need to really cram stuff in there. Um, but normally we just put like rakes and stuff like that in there, just random stuff when we're doing landscaping things. Mm -hmm. um, but then, yeah, you got all these, you know, I got to have the water for the guys here. Yeah. You know, the trimmer line, just basic stuff. I try to kind of balance and even everything out. Got the got the mix next to what you're using it That's, mostly for so they don't get too confused. That would be one of those things where I had to put it over there and then been like, oh you man, have to constantly I have walk back and forth. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're going That's smart. You're, going, you're filling the trimmers up more than anything else. So I right. put the gas there. The, the straight gas is on the other side for the mowers and stuff. So yeah. and then we got the three trimmer rack. Needed the three so I can have, you know, I always, there's always at least two of us. So sometimes yeah. we both need to grab a trimmer. Sometimes there's three of us. So, I mean, there's two trimmers. There's an edger. Uh, this 
once I, the last couple years, I make sure everyone uses an edger now for hard, hard walkway, you know, hard yeah. surfaces, walkways, and all that. Right. Because just not everyone edges that great with a trimmer, and the yes. line ends up getting wider and wider and wider. And you got this thick edge, so I want to be yes. an edge. So I started going. When I was solo, I never used an edger. I always edge with a trimmer. Yeah. But I mean, you know, when you're growing, it's it's a lot harder to train people how to edge really good with a trimmer. Cool. Um, that's that's the I really thought through. I was gonna say I see the notes on here, man. Come yeah, you, on. Gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes when when you start having employees, right? I oh mean, yeah. Because believe it or not, these are the same trimmer, but for whatever reason, they fit differently on these two things. So right. this is set for this. This is set for this. And sometimes the guys mix them up. Yeah. And they don't fit right. And I'm like, how would right. you even get that on there? <laughs> well, you know what I just thought of, Naylor? What would be cool? And what I would try to do, if I had it. Is um, and I know like on Ballard they have a fuel tank, so I would put like the the the, the big fuel tank cylinder up here, and then you could just fill your mowers on here. Right. Yeah. That'd be kind of like yeah. a because you could just bolt it. Down. It'd be kind of perfect. Yeah. But that's a sweet setup, man. Yeah, so you're thanks, really enjoying man. it. That's what you're gonna run for 2021. Yeah. This 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 is it, man. This is it. Like as as the growth happens, we can just get more and more. You know, we we can either get another one or whatever. It's just a good way to keep growing my mowing setup. This for me, this is the ideal mowing setup for. I have all HOAs, you know, like where you live, the homeowner associations, all those kind of cookie cutter type houses and properties are all about the same. Where the, someone can tell you where they live and you pretty much know what you're right. gonna charge them for the most part. I mean, you gotta look, they might have a whole bunch of obstacles, they have a fence or they don't, but a, a most part the grass, the amount of grass is gonna be about the same. And it's not gonna be some weird like situation. They're all gonna be the same and you can just stack them up. So we can just go from house to house to house and the setup is super easy. We don't have to worry about getting in between stuff and where do we park the trailer and back and I've had to back down streets so many times they couldn't even make it around the circle or it had to do like three point turns in the circle back into someone's driveway like my customer's driveway so I don't right. get in trouble and then pull back out and it's a mess so trailers have the purpose I still have my enclosed trailer we're gonna use that for leaf season like I was saying but for a mowing setup this is ideal for sure yeah, and, and even even a furt setup like I've been using this oh my for gosh. fall fertilization I've been putting all my stuff in here I was aerating and seeding with this put the aerator and bags of seed in here and just load this puppy up put stuff on the top shelf fertilizer seed and just go to town so it's it's pretty pretty limitless you just yeah. have to use your imagination i like it man all right dude thanks man yeah thanks for showing this off and uh check out naylor lawn care rookie we always laugh you're not a rookie anymore yeah. but you'll always be I'm the rookie lawn care life. rookie i yeah. like it <laughs> all right there you go if you guys enjoyed the video leave a like make sure you subscribe we'll see you the next one peace